coming to the line and getting the white flag. One to go. Justin Haley with a big push from the 51 of David Gilliland. Side by side, Haley and Gregson. Some contact with the 25 of Peters. And Gregson goes around. And we're wrecking. And they're wrecking at Talladega. And Peters was ahead when we saw that caution. Timothy Peters, a two-time winner at Talladega. And Noah Gregson sits in disappointment. Well, I think so. Oh, 18 hard in the and wall. someone else involved too. J.J. Yaley. This is between turns one and two. David Regan. Looks like there might have been a third car down yeah. there as well. It looked like Paul Tracy in the 34. looked like he was somehow involved in it. These guys are in a lot here. They're facing the 34 car. Now it looks like something happened to Yaley up front. First, oh, he lost a tire. Yeah. And the other two guys just got collected in it. Yeah, I don't think uh, Reagan had it. Well, John Andretti's also hung on in the front. Oh, oh Bobby, Bobby Labonte just lost it. Whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh Rusty. Go oh, go 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 oh, Rusty. What a shove for Chase Elliott out into the lead. And now it is a hornet's nest behind him. Here's Christopher Bell to the inside of Justin Allgaier. Look out, Ryan Priest is around. He'll hook the mud. Oh, what a, what a hellacious spin to the inside of turn number two. Ryan Priest going for a wild ride off the second yeah. corner. He's on the outside right there, the 42. That's a little lag. Can't tell if there was contact if he just spun out. He spins across the field. Luckily, missing the 22, Austin Dillon getting on the brakes. And then right here, you mentioned the end of the tire wall. That is a tough impact, spinning the car around. Johnny Sauter waiting for somebody to mess up between Bell and Gregson. Absolutely. Certainly has to be considering how long these two can run that tight. Oh, oh there, he there he goes. Both of them into the wall. Tight, Takes Justin Haley with him. Tight. And guys, John Hunter Nemechek got through and will line up second behind Johnny Sauter. There they are, side by side. Gregson there on the inside and just... I don't know if there was contact that led to him getting around and then Justin Haley had nowhere to go. Wow, right in the door. There had definitely been some contact between or the 18 and the four, whether or not. Hard into the wall. Bottom of the racetrack to the top. You got the yellow. And Bobby Labonte has to win in that down. He's trying to get out of that car. It's so hard getting out with all that equipment on. See Kyle Petty stopping to see if Bobby needs assistance. And he does. He's out of there. We've been seeing a lot of fire lately, haven't we? That car just just spun like a top. It's like there was oil or water or something up in turn three. Couldn't believe how quickly that car went around. There is one other car involved in the crash, Mike Wallace, whose car has come to rest maybe 50, 60 feet farther down the racetrack from where you're looking at Labonte's smoking machine. At Labonte's smoking machine. Oops, not quite out yet, fellas. Well, it just came off pit road with a full tank of fuel. There's Mike Wallace out of his car. Good to see. So caution is out with 52 laps to go in the race. And let's see if we can go back and figure out what happened that caused this big mess in turn three. There you see the 18 car. There's Mike Wallace, they're side by side. Didn't see uh, him there. Okay, oh. Benson drives into the 41. 
they look like they save it. Oh, uh, no. Johnny's tires the bent, bent out. The racetrack yeah. and eclipse the 18 car. Okay, that's why he spun so abruptly. Yeah. When Johnny made contact with the 41, it looked like it bent the suspension because you could see the tire in the 10 car just turn. Look at that hit. Oh, my goodness. Seven cars got a bunch of damage also. A little contact into one. Still there. Rubbin. Side by side down the back stretch, going to turn three. Oh, oh. contact in Gregson into the wall hard. Field coming to speed. Green down flag. Low, slow start, but gets a good jump there. Greg Biffle in the 60 car, he'd like to beat David Green in the 37, down to one and two, try to fall in the second spot. Well, we got a car, that, I believe that might be Bobby Labonte. No, that would be J.J. Yaley in the 18 car, Joe Gibbs car. Boy, now it, here comes oh, the man. Tony Red Reigns piles in, and Jason Schuler. What was up with that? Tony Reigns got hit in the rear by this, uh, this car right here and drove him into J.J.'s car. That's Jason Schuler in the 10. J.J. Uh, Yaley moving around in the car as the rescue workers get there quickly. And boy, you can see the damage. I mean, wow. look at all the, here's the roll bars right in here and the sheet metal all pushed in around it. Going to see him right here. Yep. Car well, just, just took off with him. Takes up out of the groove. Now he's, you know, everybody's going to get by here. He's staying up next to the wall, up next to the wall. Car's probably going to come to a slide down the hill. And bam, that uh, number 10 car of Jason Schuler got into the back of Tony Reigns. Reigns was slowing down. Schuler, what? That was a hard lick right there.